what's going on everybody today I'm gonna show y'all how to change the oil in the 2001 Ford Taurus V6 and the main reason I'm doing this for one just to do it to throw it on my channel and for two I'm sure not a lot of people are changing the oil in a 2001 Ford Taurus because not a lot of people care probably but you know, it is some people out there who have a Ford Taurus 2001, and there's some people out there who don't know how to change the oil. So if you merge the two together, you get this video. So let's do it. Now, it's not a whole lot of science to it. We've mainly got the filter, five quarts of Walmart oil, but heavyweight, 20 weight 50, uh, 13 millimeter is what you need. I don't know if the thing is, but... Trust me, that's 13. Bucket for some oil, uh, gloves, towels, and um, you're ready to go. So let's do it. Let me grab, grab this right here. Let's get started, shall we? All right, let's get under here. Now the car was warm up just a tiny bit, so you know. So basically, I already loosened the nut, but the nut is right here, as y'all can see. And remember, you always go lefty to loosey. So even if you turn it this way, you pull it, put like pull the wrench towards you, and that's put putting it going towards left, and that's to loosen it. So always remember, if you under here and your uh, your face is towards the oil pan and your body is hanging outside of the car always pull it towards you or you always pull it towards you and that's left and if you're in front of it then you know you already know the difference between left and right so alright here we go I already loosened it up a little bit and the oil should be coming out very soon uh, boom there we go. Uh, a lot of people let this drop. I never let this drop. I always try to catch it. But a lot of people let it drop. So whatever you want to do. And the oil is coming out. I'm sure this thing hasn't had an oil change in a very long time. But now that I own it, we're going to oil change it up, baby. We're going to oil change it up. So what y'all been up to, man? What's going on in y'all life? Huh? You know, this, this channel is called Vashon Life, man, and I got a crazy life, you know. Uh, I mainly love music, cars, and stocks, uh, and my friends and family, and uh, all of that's on my channel. But, you know, if y'all go through my videos, y'all will see a lot going on on my channel. Everything from my goddaughter's graduation to me helping my friends shoot a bikini try on haul, and um, I'm filming that. So I, my channel, I have everything on it. Uh, it's just my life. I got a crazy life and I'm single. So you know how that go when you're single. Uh, but it's a lot of YouTubers out there that got a channel man with the family and it's doing great. So I don't know. And I always wanted to adopt a child. I don't care if they black, white, Asian. I always wanted to adopt a kid. So I think I might do that. Uh, when I get my big house, uh, I'm trying to save up now to get the big house because I hate loans. I buy everything cash, and if I'm about to buy a big house, it's going to cost me. So I'm kind of like saving up for that. People telling me that I don't, I don't need to tie up all my money. I need to get a loan. That way I free up my cash for other things. And maybe I'll do that. I don't know. But. I definitely want to adopt, man. It's a lot of kids that need a good family, need a good home, and I'm worried about adopting because I don't want them to break my heart and tell them, tell me that, oh, because you're a single man and you're not gay. Because for some strange reason, all the gay single men seem to be able to adopt. But if you ain't a gay single man, like they, they, a lot of people that I see on YouTube and a lot of people I've talked to uh, myself was like, you know, they get gave them hell trying to adopt when they're a single man. And a single women, they let them adopt if, even if they was blind. It's, I don't know. I don't think it's fair. You know what I mean? I think it should be equal for anybody. Anybody who want to give a child a good home, I feel like they should be allowed to. But that's just me, though. I'm sure nobody cares about how I feel. 
All right. So while that's being done, I'm going to show y'all right here is the oil filter. And the same thing with the oil filter. Turn it left to loosen, right to tight, and uh, it's very easy to come off. This oil filter is super easy to come off. And as y'all can see while I'm turning it, if y'all can see, it's turning right now, as you can see it. So it's, it's real easy to come off. The oil filter ain't nothing. And uh, I'm just trying to let as much oil as I can come out. Then I'll do the oil filter. It's already leaking right now. So I'm trying to let as much oil out as possible on that end. And I'm divorced because somebody else had control or say so over whether I get a divorce or not. Like, I don't know. There's something ain't right about that. So, what y'all tell me, man. All right. All right. Now. That's, that's enough. That's enough. All right. So we got that going popping. Now, I'll tighten that up later. Now let's 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 slide this over a little bit so that we can get this uh see we can get that oil pan, I mean the oil filter down. I don't want that wind to blow no oil in my eyes, so I'm gonna move up a little bit, but I'm still see if I can see if y'all can see it still. Oh see if y'all see if y'all still be able to see me see it oh yeah oh yeah there you go oh yeah yeah there you go oh yeah it's coming down it's coming down oh yeah oh let oh let's coming down let me see if i can grab this oil filter before it before it get too ridiculous and fall in the pan let's see if i can grab it uh come on man come on come on uh i hate it when that happens all right come on come on Come on now, come on, this thing ain't on there that deep. There you go, I got it. I got it, boom. I got it, y'all. Yeah, that oil was pretty black. They haven't changed this oil in forever, man. And they talking about, yeah, the car good, everything good, maintenance up. Line, line, line. Oh, I can't stand liars. All right, y'all, give me a minute. And uh, let me get everything straightened out. All right, beautiful people. Y'all ready? Y'all see I got the oil out. Changed my gloves. Got the old oil filter out. So, since I got, uh oh, I got, a, I got a beep. And it's not what I was wanting. Shoot. Oh, uh, who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Okay. All right. All right. Let's do this, y'all. Got my 13 millimeter ready. So we're going to tighten up that nut. First thing we're going to do. All right. So, remember I told y'all about this nut right here? Remember I told y'all about that nut right there? We're going to tighten that nut up with the 13 millimeter. And remember I told you, left it and loosey. Right at the tight. 99% of people in the world know that, but you know, just gotta. So remember, you push it. And don't go too berserk with the tight. I can't stand when people tighten it so much. Now that's you know, you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta do all that. But all right, that's nice and good. Nice and good. Nice and clean. I, I like to. I like a clean surface. I'm gonna have to come in really clean this thing because somebody ain't been cleaning this thing at all. Alright, but make sure it's let me give it one more just one more good tug. Just to make sure the tug is is is, is proper. Perfect. Alright, so now as y'all can see up there, we gotta put the new filter on. So let's do that right now. Grab the new filter, STP. I think it's like 3,000 miles, this one, I, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Uh-oh, I think we got a problem, people. This one is 10 times bigger than this one. Uh-oh, I think we got a problem. That one is 10 times bigger than this one. Way, way bigger. Huh. 
Uh oh, I think we I think we're gonna have to run to the I think we're gonna have to run. Oh no we won't. Well maybe we will no we won't. What's going on people? I'm back from the from the discount auto store and look what I got. I got the actual filter for it. Now this is the filter that's supposed to be on it. This is the filter that the lady at AutoZone sold me. STP. And look at the, the difference. I mean night and day. So, we're going to slap this one on. But before you do that, I always grease up this black rim right here. So we're going to take a little... Ooh, this black grease is horrible. We're going to we're gonna just grease up this, this rim. I always grease this up. I have no clue why. They say it's the lubricated. But I always grease that up just a little bit, not too much. Let's not get stupid. But grease that up, and we are good to go. So let's go ahead and slap this in. Before it gets a little dark out here, because the sun, sun about to set. And trust me, when the sun set, these woods, I mean, all kind of creatures stirring. Not even a mouse, though, because the snakes will probably eat a mouse. But... Other creatures, poisonous creatures, creatures with big teeth. It's a pond over there, and they got a gator in it, and you'll see them at night. I don't know how he stay underwater so long in the daytime, but at night, you'll see them. You can just shine the light on the water, and you'll see them. But this Florida, there's gators everywhere, so no big deal. At least not to us. All right. All right, so let's do this. All right, now, like I said... See right there? That's where you put the filter at. And uh, we stick that filter on there. And I always turn it right to tidy. Left to loosen it. So we're going to turn it right and tighten it. I don't know why I act like it don't want to tighten, but. Come on, tighten. Come on, tighten. Okay. I might have to. Hold on a second. There you go. I got it. I got it, people. I got it. All right, people. I got it now. We're cooking with grease. I don't know who made up that saying. So stupid. But we're cooking with grease. All right. Now it's not. Don't put it too tight where you're going to strip it, but tight enough to where no oil will come out. And I always hand tighten this. Hand tighten this. So you tighten it to you. You can much as you can. I always hand tighten that. And uh, we good to go. How we looking down there? We looking good. We looking good. We looking good. All right. All right. Now it's time to put your oil in. And this is self-explanatory, y'all. You know, take your cap off. Put your oil in. And uh, then check it. So everything else is self-explanatory. Any layman can do that. So that's how you change the oil in the 2001 for a Taurus. I know it's simple, but I'm sure a lot of people never seen a video on it because who cares? It's a Ford Taurus. But anyway, we need videos for the channel. We need to change the oil, so let's hook them up and do them. All right? Thank y'all for watching. Please subscribe. Stay tuned for more and peace. I hope you guys liked the video. Subscribe, like, and comment. Love you guys.